Good morning, Jane here with Janet's Quilt Shop. It is time for Monday morning tidbit again, and I've got a really good one for you today. I think you're gonna like it. I know, it's been a while since I said that. It's been since last year. I am so glad. I'm hoping everyone's having a good 2024 so far, and hopefully get some projects finished. I've got some really good ideas coming up. I hope you stay tuned with us for the rest of our tidbits, hopefully for the rest of the year, okay? All right, a couple things. I've got my calendar here for January. A couple things that we can add to our calendars is this Wednesday, the 10th, we're going to have a Wacky Wednesday sale. So I'm going to sell out some of our old fabric. As you've been watching, probably, we're getting a bunch of new fabric in. So I'm going to make way for it. And it'll start at noon on Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday sale. So stay tuned for that. That's this month, January 10th. And then, I've been hearing a lot of people saying they have projects they would like to finish. So, I'm going to give you a chance to come in and let's do them together, okay? So, on the 25th, which is a Thursday, you can come in. Or, this time, I'm also going to do one on a Saturday. For you people that work and want to do a Saturday, the 27th, we're going to call it Finish It Day. So, you're going to come in, bring your project. It's $10. You pay $10 for the whole day, and we can sew together. I will go in there, work on a project I've got to finish, because believe me, I'm like you. I've got a lot that needs to be finished. So we'll come in, and we'll finish some projects up. So if you get in a have a question about something, hopefully I can help you or somebody else in the group can help you. So the Thursday, the 25th, or Saturday, the 27th of January is Finish It Day. So, let us know because we're going to schedule the first eight people in each one of those and we'll get some stuff finished, okay? All right, just let us know at the shop and we'll do that for you. Okay, so down to my tidbit today. Tidbit is this awesome chickadee quilt behind me. You may have seen the panel and I said we are going to do something with that. I love chickadees. We watch the chickadees out my, crisp, my kitchen window. We have a bird feeder out there, and those cute little chickadees are out there, and I love them. So we have three in this picture, a water scene, a boat, the cabin with the lights on. It's just a great little winter scene there, and this is part of the panel here, this little board fabric. So what we've added is the black border, the chickadees, and they are directional, so we've turned them going right all the way around, up and down. This green fabric, we have all this in the shop. And this outer border, we brought back this board fabric back out here. And then we cut it on the bias and did our binding. Isn't that cute lined up there? Then we decided to do just a black backing to match our border there and the chickadees. Look how cute that is. And I don't know if you can see it in the picture or not, but there's a water ripple fabric uh, quilting pattern in there for the fabric there. See the water going down all the way? Isn't that cute? I love it. So this is one of our $2.50 cards. It's called Beach Walk. And the pattern picture is not real bright uh, that they have, but it's an ocean scene that they're using on the card. And all the directions are here. It's a very easy one, so it'd be a quick project if you want a quick winter quilt. There's just the flying geese in the corner to make there. They're rather large flying geese. Upper left corner and the bottom right corner has the flying geese. The pattern tells you what to cut those, how to sew those, and exactly what you need. So the card ends with the flying geese. But we decided to go back with our board out here to bring that back out and bind it with that. So it makes it a little bit larger. The card says it will finish um, 33 by 43. No, no, that's wrong. That's the panel. The card says it should be 56 by 68. And that is a good lap quilt size, but you add this border out there and it adds six inches all the way around, which is a perfect size for a large uh, lap quilt. We use just poly batting in this so it can be washed often and nice and fluffy. Okay, that's it. That's the tidbit for today. It is an easy one. If you can sew borders on and make a few large flying geese, you can do this pattern. We have these patterns available as long as they last for $2.50. 
and then we have the fabrics here that you see in this um, this quilt here with the panels and this fabric here. So if you'd like any of that, come by the shop. Or if you'd like for us to mail it, just let us know in the comments and we'll be glad to do that. Okay, I hope you're having fun sewing. Enjoy your Monday. Thank you and good day.